Good morning. That really means fuck you. Please sit down, which really means blow me. And listen up really means I'm going to talk shit and you fucking momos have to sit there without being able to speak. This press conference will begin now, which really means that I have a clock starting to tick in my head. And when it's done, I get to kick you mutts out of here and get on with my day because as far as I'm concerned, you're all nothing but that feeble hanging sack that remains after someone has their testicles removed. Last Sunday, I felt that the team made a very big step forward. First of all, we won on the road. We won in Seattle, where no one gave us a chance. We won without neighbors and Singletary. We showed that our offense and defense and special teams can all fire at the same time. We showed we could come back from heartbreak and adversity and driving down the field with the first possession and not only fumbling the ball on the goal line, but allowing them to return it 101 yards for a touchdown. That was like taking the time to bake a delicious cake and then bringing it over to the dining room table and your uncle pulls his pants down and shits all over it. That beautiful opening drive turned into a Betty Crocker Porter John. Anyway, we looked very strong last week. The passing game was on. The running game was on. The defense had seven sacks. Special teams blocked that last field goal attempt and scored a touchdown to seal the win. Now, we do have an injury report for the Cincinnati game, and here it is. Sam Rothstein has a sprained pepperoni poco uh, with occasional spumoni discharge. Nicky Santoro aggravated his pudding bucket digging holes in the desert. Billy Sherbet has a hyperextended nutsack after accidentally having it pulled through a Play-Doh machine. Philip Green has an inverted balloon nut and now has to wipe with a sham wow. Lester Diamond is suffering from a gelatinous lap banana. He has to wear a dick splint until the mold hardens. Andy Stone has a clogged Tootsie Roll hole, which is being treated with daily bunghole flossing. Artie Piscano fractured his camel toe during cock blocking drills. Frank Marino has a smoking and spitting shot blower, so we've handed out umbrellas in the locker room, or else it looks like he got caught in a fucking mudstorm. And uh, finally, Remo Gadji is actually fine. But his wife suffered a sloppy bird feeder, so we allowed him to stay in the nest until her little pink bat wings healed. Okay. We have the Bengals coming into the Meadowlark Lemonlands this Sunday for a Sunday night game that will be seen by a national audience. Now look, I'm not fucking around here. This Giants team is better than a lot of people think. We should be at least 3-2. and two. And maybe you could argue that we could be 4-1. and one. But we aren't. We are two and three, and we are hanging in there. But what's more important is that we are now showing that we can play with anybody, and we can play at a high level on all three sides of the ball. We have to be very mindful of Burrow, because the bottom line is he's a dangerous quarterback who can put up 40 points in a loss. The Bengals are having some issues this season. I'm sure they will get them straightened out at some point. But not during our game. I hope every single bangle suffers from an extreme loss of bowel control and has a double hernia for our game on Sunday. Print that! And that's that. Oh, by the way, for the people who don't like it when I do these press conferences or think they're getting old or think they aren't funny... I hope you slip and fall down the stairs and every piece of furniture you own gets shoved right up your fucking ass and you need a fucking sphincter operation after tearing your O-ring. And I hope that happens twice a year for the rest of your fucking lives.
To all of you in this room, I hope you wash after you take a crap. But because you probably don't, that's why I never shake your hands. Go Big Blue. Let's show the league in America something this Sunday night. Let's fucking go Big Blue Wrecking Fucking Crew.